Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am an intuitive tarot card reader and this will be your Who's Coming Towards You Oracle of Love reading. And this is for those Taurians looking to see who is coming forward for love and relationships. So this will be a general reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And I will be having a look at who this person is as a whole and anything more we can learn about them. Um, I will also be providing an extended version to this reading where I will be exploring the kind of relationship this person is going to offer you or what you could sort of expect if you were to get involved with them um, in depth. Okay, so that's more the extended version and the link to that is below in the show more section. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see who's coming up around you, Taurus. How is this person presenting themselves? How are they coming forward? What can we learn about them as a whole? Okay, Priestess of Abundance. You have someone very powerful coming in here, Taurus. You have someone that has a magnetic energy about them. Okay, they're very powerful. They're a very influential person here, Priestess of Abundance. She all, almost resembles a goddess here. So this is someone with an alpha personality. I feel like it's someone that uh, ticks many boxes of things that you're searching for. I feel like this person is highly ambitious. I feel like they've got a lot of charisma they have a lot of attraction they have a lot of powerful qualities that you're going to be very very drawn to i feel like some of you have made some sort of connection here you've got the all-seeing eye so some of you might be connected to this person and observing them from afar um, or it could be that this person is observing you from afar taurus but i think there's been, there's been some sort of contact here almost observing each other from afar. Now, this could also be subconsciously, you might be connecting through dreams or premonitions or even visualizing or fantasizing about each other now. So this is very powerful. And I definitely feel with these two pillars here, the two of you are definitely would hit it off. I feel like they're, they're mirroring you in a lot of ways, whether this is through common interest or career. I think you share a lot of similarities and you're both in a very similar position to each other. But this is a go-getter. This is a person who makes things happen. They've, they've got a very strong, active energy to them, Aries, which I think you'll definitely appreciate. Let's lay out a few more cards and see what else is coming up around this person, Taurus. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Five of Cups. Queen of Cups. Wheel of Fortune indicates fate and destiny at play here. It can also be a sim symbol here of cycles. Now, many of you have possibly connected with this person before. The Wheel of S Fortune can be you might have had a relationship with them before, a friendship. You might have worked together, but there might have been something you were already involved in. It's a very intricate connection, that Wheel of Fortune. It can also point to abundance, prosperity, and good things destined for this person. They have a lot of luck about them, I feel. I definitely feel you're fated to meet each other or at least be connected in some powerful way here. I do feel like this person is destined to be successful in whatever they decide to do. Uh, I don't know if it's because of this is from their ambitious nature or that they're just destined to be quite wealthy or even famous. But they might have that in their path. They could also work with uh, prestigious companies, with celebrities, the people in the public eye. They might work with a lot of money or work in a very uh, posh or um, expensive um, environment, say, for example. The Five of Cups is here. Now, could be water energy. There is a little fish in the bowl, which could point to Piscean energy. So this person could be quite creative. They could be quite emotionally sensitive. They could be quite caring and kind here. I do believe this person is a bit of a hopeless romantic, and I feel like they've gotten hurt before. And I feel it's because they have a they have a gullibility or a vulnerability to them, uh, Taurus. I feel like they, they want to believe in the best out of people, and people don't always live up to their expectations. And this is, I think, why this person has possibly been hurt before because the Five of Cups can most certainly indicate loss. So they might be mourning some sort of loss here, a relationship, a person. Uh, but I do feel like with the Queen of Cups energy here, they're definitely quite emotionally sensitive here. 
Now, in one way, this could be good because you, you'll always be able to read how this person is feeling about you. Um, I feel like they're going to really express themselves in terms of communication. Uh, I feel like that there's an openness here, Queen of Cups. I think they may have some sort of intuitive ability. I do feel like they're very kind and caring. They could be an empath. Uh, but they could be quite creative. It's almost like a fairy here. They, they could be quite imaginative. They could be involved in the creative sphere, yes. I don't feel this person has had a string of many relationships. I think they're in it for the long term. Uh, the sea turtles are here, uh, seen as creatures that often mate for life and, as we all know, live a very long time. So I do feel like... Um, this person is wanting something long-term, okay? Or they've had only long-term connections before. So I do feel like they enjoy, excuse me, being in relationships, Taurus. I think they could be very strong for you. Um, I also feel like they could nurture you in a lot of powerful ways here. They're very compassionate um, about what they do. They hold on to friendships. Their sentimentality or nostalgia are coming up around this person with that Queen of Cups energy. Lay out three more cards. Okay, six of chalices. Some of you have definitely had some sort of past connection with them. Six of chalices can be a past life, it can be a past connection, but for some of you, this is someone coming in from the past. There's some sort of familiarity here. Um, I love the Six of Chalices because I feel like it can point to someone who is quite romantic or someone who. Um, who likes to who likes to live in the joy of things you can see that she's almost she's in the water here she's got the lilies blooming around her it's very picturesque so i do feel like this person is very kind and likes to uh, likes to do nice things for people and i feel like they could be very romantic and like to do those things for you they might be a lover of nature but i think you're going to adore this they're all about capturing the moment. There's a certain presence. And I feel like when they'll be with you, they're going to pay a lot of attention to you, uh, Taurus. Did I say Aries before? I meant Taurus. Um, so I think that's quite powerful. We also have the Ace of Chalices. So um, something about new beginnings coming up around them when the two of you new, do connect. So they might be um, undergoing a new job, a new living situation, might be welcoming in a new family member. There's some sort of new chapter coming in around them. The Ace of Chalices is very beautiful. There's a moon in the background, so there is Cancer coming up here. Now, this is very apt, Taurus, because Cancers can be quite emotionally sensitive. They can be very kind, they can be very caring, um, and they can be extremely romantic as well. So I do feel like you have someone coming here I don't know if they easily fall in love, but I have a feeling they're going to fall in love with you. It's all going to pour out here. I think they're going to grow attached very quickly to you, uh, Taurus, whether or not they show it immediately. But I do feel like they'll be invested in you. So this, there's, there's a quality here. There's, there's substance to this person and there's depth because this is what they want. They are wanting a deep connection. Um, Look, the moon can be someone quite creative, okay? They could have quite a motherly energy them, uh, to them. The moon can be that um, fussing about emotional security, motherly energy. So they may try to mother you in, in some ways, Taurus. Maybe give you advice, maybe fuss, fuss about you, uh, maybe just show they're very, very caring. They could, I do feel like the vulnerability is coming up with the Page of Swords. They could be younger than you. They could be a little bit inexperienced. There might be some risky behavior. I feel like they take a lot of risks when it comes to love. But Page of Swords indicates someone who not always knows how to understand what they're, that what they're thinking. I definitely feel they're in tune with their emotions, but Taurus, but when it comes to this, I feel it's more that this person tries to analyze things, but that approach doesn't work for them. And I think this is something about a struggle in the way in which they communicate. They may not be a very effective communicator. They may not always um, communicate effectively. But I think there's good intention here. But there could be, they might be a bit of a risk taker in some things. Or they could push a, a few of your buttons here, Taurus. 
with, with their words. It's almost like their words. It's it's, it's something about careful or, 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 you know, being a little bit, I wouldn't say manipulative. It's more like daring. They could be quite daring in what they say. Maybe it's bold. Maybe it's quite forward. But there's definitely a risky or daring side to them, possibly, um, I think. Okay. I will be continuing with your extended reading now, Taurus, uh, to sort of explore what this kind of connection or relationship could be like um, should you pursue that with this person. So uh, the extended version is available via the link below in the show more section, which will get you over to my Vimeo channel. Otherwise, thank you again so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you have a lovely month. Please stay safe, Taurus. And until next time, bye for now.